So this is a video about a hostel called Lok Yukari in Furano. It's like a cabin style kind of uh, hostel that's in the woods. That is the communal building and I'm pointing to the shower rooms that are outdoor at the back. This is the reception area. This is where you check in and on the left side you would have seen some bicycles that are free to rent. This is where you check in and it's pretty homey. Oh, they sell hot spring tickets to the nearby New Prince Furano Hotel it's for just 500 yen, so definitely check that out. Here is a closer look at the communal room. That's where you have breakfast. Oh, breakfast is provided. And this is like a private room with five beds um, for people who come in a group and it's pretty simple, but you have pretty much everything you need. This is a heater some i don't know air purifier thing hangers and yep here and another cabin is the dormitories for the male and the female and now i'm gonna go into the female dormitories this is how it looks like you are given a pillowcase um a towel and a down comforter if the blanket is not enough, they actually have more blanket because this is in the highlands so they tend to get pretty cool at night. There's a mirror, a lamp and like complimentary tissues. The floor is green carpeted and I think they really need that because it gets pretty cool at night. The power pods unfortunately kind of is a situation like this. It's just at random corners of the room. So charging your stuff can be a little bit troublesome. They have Wi-Fi and there's no eating and drinking in the room and they have a shutdown timing for the room but I don't think they really enforce it actually. And just beside the lock cabin of the dormitories, underneath it is the toilet and the wash-up area. Everything is very cozy, it's I think DIY by the owners. Oh, washing machines are free and there's a dryer. Unfortunately though, the water here has no heater so it gets really cold when you wash your face and hand. This is the toilet. You go in without your shoes. And this is how it looks like. It's not electrical, it's not heated so yep. What's more interesting is the male toilet. Which is, you know, just a stand thing sort of and you get a very nice um, view <laughs> of the surrounding umbrellas for free I think yes washing machine and dryers are complimentary and beside it is actually a cafe <laughs> it links back to the reception counter actually I believe they sell like coffees and teas here though I've never tried it myself Oh, there's a little dog. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. Open the door and you realize there's Disney, the mechanical engineering that like closes the door automatically without any battery. This is pure ingenuity. Hostel owners are a pair of elderly couples and they own pretty much all the, like, the wooden log cabins around here. So there is a lot of private rooms that you can book if you're interested. I did manage to get a video of the shower rooms, uh, that's the communal area and the blue parts that I'm pointing to, that's where you take a shower. And it's outdoor, it's completely sheltered but then the draft gets in and it gets pretty cold. And that's one of the biggest problems I have with the place. But with due respect, everything in Elbow was wonderful. Other than, oh yes, the location is very far away from the city central. It has uphill climbs almost all the way. And it's maybe not so recommended for people who are not physically fit and don't drive but if you drive you come with your family and you drive then i think this is a very nice place to be because it's affordable it offers privacy and it's very quiet <laughs>